it's here. The latest version of Logic is here. It was just delivered. I'm gonna go out to the mailbox and check it out. Now this isn't Logic 9, this is a whole new version. I don't know what to expect, no one does. I'm the first one on earth to get it. And they promised it to me before April 1st, and it's here. So I'm gonna go get it and we'll take a look at it together. Okay, here we go. Priority mail. This is it. This is the latest version of Logic. I mean, it says right here, Logic Studio NFR review copy. April 1st, 2011. I can't believe it. I, I just can't wait to, to look at it. So I'm going to load it in and we'll look at it together. So let's go. So here I am in the studio and I finally got Logic all loaded in. And now we're going to boot it up. Now let's find the new icon. Well, it kind of looks the same. But it's called Logic Band 11. So now it's searching through all of my EXS instruments. and I've got a ton of them. You know, I've got like 200 gigabytes of them. And as you know, it takes Logic a little time to, to read through them all, but we'll get there. Wow. Okay, I, I won't stare. Just load up all my EXS instruments, please. And there it is, Logic Band 11. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is the wonderful new wood side pieces. And I hear that there are key commands to pick different types of wood. For instance, if you're doing country music, you could choose maple. Now, another thing you're gonna notice is that the arrange page just keeps evolving into a different color, which is kind of cool because I never know what color to pick anyways. New in Logic Band 11 are the new smart instruments. And I've loaded some up here. And so let's take a look. The first one I wanna show you is the new Ultra Beat. It's called Smart Beat. Right? No more programming. Right? All you have to do is boot it up and it just plays whatever it thinks you want to hear. Now, one of my favorite plugins is Sculpture, right? And in Logic Band, it's called Smarture. And look at this instead of one string, it now has six. Sounds good too. It's really nice that they're making these soft synths a little simpler to use. Remember the ES2? Now it's called the S-Smart, and it has a built-in keyboard. Wow, you don't need a tutorial for that. I guess I have to go back to being a gym teacher. Hmm. Hey, there's a really new, amazing plugin that only works on the output channel strip. And I'm not sure if it's an Apple plugin or a third-party plugin, but you gotta check this out. Okay, a little double click, and here we go. It's called Smart Music. Now, if you look around the dial, you'll see that there's all kinds of different genres to choose from. Now, I understand that you don't have to, like, write any music anymore. You just pick a genre. So, let's try it. Let's try jazz. You know, I really like this plugin because uh, writing music is hard, and frankly, I'd rather have much more time to play with my iPad. This is Steve H. wishing everyone a happy April Fool's Day from all of us at MacProVideo.com.